and we're back. Well, that's not very nice. I'll be honest, I sort of thought after the first two DLCs for Minecraft Dungeons that they'd probably end support of the game. It seemed like a fully finished product to me, but guess the developers had other ideas in mind. So we actually have three more DLCs coming in after this one, which you know we'll keep on reviewing them since we've come this far, but today's topic is the Howling Peaks DLC and why this is the worst and also the best DLC Minecraft Dungeons has put out so far. First off, the aesthetic of this DLC is beautiful. I love the mountains, the colors, the animals, the buildings, even the little winds blowing, which all come together to bring the Howling Peaks to life. Yes, you get tired of being blown off the edge sometimes, but if that's the price I gotta pay to see the most gorgeous sceneries in Minecraft dungeons, then so be it. There are three new levels to this DLC, Windswept Peaks, Gale Sanctum, and Colossal Rampart. Windswept Peaks takes place on top of the mountains and is an action level. Gale Sanctum takes place in the temple, as a puzzle level, and Colossal Ramparts takes place around the castle and is an adventure level. I like that each of these levels has its own feel to mix the gameplay up a little bit. Windswept Peaks loads you up with a ton of enemies and classic animals and is fairly straightforward like most Minecraft dungeon levels. Gale Sanctum is a true puzzle level throughout the whole thing. You have these giant ducks or vents that you have to move in place in certain ways to open up new areas. They keep this mechanic up, not just to unlock doors, but also just simply to be able to advance in the level. This is an excellent way to change the pace and made the game feel new again. Even the final boss of Gale Sanctum, the Tempest Golem, was a puzzle where you had to figure out how to get him to open up his core in order to attack him. Colossal Ramparts was different yet again, where you had a journey to level searching for obstacles to activate and keys to unlock areas. Even the items in Howling Peaks were excellent. The Tempest Knife is one of the fastest weapons in the game, and you can actually get some decent range off of it. The Wind Bow creates a gust of wind and brings enemies closer for you to attack them. The armor had some unique variants as well, with the climbing gear and the emerald armor, but I never got the armor I truly wanted from this DLC, which was the goat gear. Some dreams are just not meant to come true. <laughs> So if I love the levels, love the weapons, love the mechanics of Howling Peaks, why do I also say this is the worst of the Minecraft Dungeons DLC? Well, this right here. This may look like a normal temple entrance, but this is actually a piece of garbage. This right here is the secret exit from Windswept Peaks to get to Colossal Rampart, and it only appears in Windswept Peaks about 10% of the time you play the level, and is at the very close of nearly a 30 minute run meaning that you have to play the level for 30 minutes just to see if the secret is there. If it's not, you get to start over another 30 minute run to see if it shows up next time. It took me about seven tries just to get it to show, meaning that I had to play Windswept Peaks for almost three hours just to get the level or the secret exit to show up. This, like I said, is a garbage mechanic in the game. While only having an area appear occasionally in a Minecraft dungeon level is standard practice, in the past levels they always allowed you to look at the map at the start of the game to see if the secrets were there. If they weren't, you could restart the level until you saw that the secret was there, then play the level, no real time was wasted, and I was okay with that. That changed in Howling Peaks though. The map doesn't actually register the secret area, so you are forced to play through the whole level every time to see if the secret is there. This is frustration to the max and makes it feel like you aren't really playing a game, but rather just wasting time. All the awesomeness and things I loved in the Howling Peaks levels at the start have become annoyances because they were now mere obstacles on a long and frustrating journey to find this secret. This one aspect nearly ruined what the DLC had to offer. I really hope they don't do any more mechanics like this in future DLCs because it is a slap in the face of people who are wanting to simply complete the game. So my recommendation, enjoy the two main levels of Howling Peaks, and if the secret level doesn't appear after two tries, give it up and don't waste your hours searching and ruining what you already love. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and comment down below if you were able to get the secret level to appear on your game. And as always, go out there, find a great game to play, just simply have a great rest of the day.